Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of I'd Run That. And today we're going to be doing this on the Nemesis, which is basically the Hades' cousin. It is in the same family as it being one of the fellow Pantheon pack robots. Uh, I really like these robots because their abilities are awesome to me, since they activate an, a shield with infinite durability during their ability. And then by charging up their weapons based on how much damage they taken through the shield it powers up built-in weapons and this one has a rocket launcher that pops out from the back of the robot so this robot is very fun it's also pretty well balanced and it can really hold its own if you play it well so we're going to be going over the top builds that i can run on this robot so sit back and enjoy the video Alright, first build on the board is the Atomizer Nemesis, and similarly to the video that I did on the Hades, which was episode 1, I am going to be listing the pros and cons of each build. So for this build, the pros are that it is effective anywhere within its 500 meter range. This weapon has very high accuracy before it heats up, it has no reload time, and it also is perfect for hit and run attacks, which I think is what the Nemesis shines at. And its cons are that it becomes inaccurate after shooting for a while, and it's a different weapon type than the built-in rockets. Next is the good old Taron Nemesis, so the pros of this build are that it has pretty nice damage overall. It's good for brawling, and these weapons are relatively cheap, but they're actually pretty powerful. But the cons is that they're pretty outdated and the damage is lower compared to more modern weapons. Next is another pretty old build, which is the Orkin Nemesis. I chose to run Orkins instead of the cryo weapons due to running them on my Hades, while the equivalents of those weapons on my Hades. So I just wanted to flip things up a bit. And I mean, you know, the Orkins are less powerful than the cryos, but they work. So the pros of this build are that they have high burst damage. It is the same type of weapon as the built-in rockets, and it's also perfect for hit and run attacks. And the cons are that these weapons take a while to reload, very low sustain damage, and travel time.
And last but not least, we have the Nemesis with Scourge. So the pros of this build are that it does more damage the closer you get to your opponent. It locks onto targets so you will always hit them. And it's good for brawling. And the cons is that the damage is a lot farther ranges. It takes time to do damage and you also have to wait to lock on for a few seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's some gameplay of the Scourge Nemesis and I will see you later.